We think there should be a national drive to make sure we all know how to look after our mental health. We wouldn't buy a household appliance or a car and not know how to look after it. Um, yet often we don't know anything about how to look after our mental and emotional well-being. Uh, we think there should be a program to help adults and children um, learn they have mental health and the simple things they can do to keep well. We're not alone in this country in worrying about mental health. Mental health problems are going on the rise around the world and a lot of people are trying to put things right. We think there should be a Royal Commission that would draw together the best of the knowledge that's currently out there, the top experts, and work out how to stop this problem getting worse and how to make sure that we can prevent future generations going through their mental health problems too. As a nation, we produce reports on many important things, on economic growth, on employment, on overall the nation's health, but we don't produce a regular update on how we're doing on our mental health, despite the fact it's one of the great challenges of our time. We think that governments should produce regular reports, that they should say what action they're taking, and they should say how successful that's being. That will make a real difference to making sure that governments don't just talk the talk, but they walk the walk too. We've all learnt to do things to check up on our physical health, uh, to have our blood pressure checked, to have our statins checked and cholesterol. What we haven't done is look at our health in the whole. And of course, we're not just bodies, we're minds as well. When we go into the doctor to have a check, we think they should be asking us about our stress levels and how we're coping with that and giving us good advice on our mental health at the same time as we have advice on our physical health if we need it. That will mean we all improve our chances of staying well and doing things that will help us on that way. We know that mental health is a real concern to most of us in this country. The numbers of people who are reporting suffering from it are going up. In fact, about a third of people who go and see their GP have got a mental health problem behind what they're reporting. Yet when we look at research, mental health is hardly there. For every pound of research money, less than six pence goes to mental health research. And most of that is going to treatment, which of course is needed, but we also need to look at what will prevent mental health problems emerging. It's way time to change this. We're calling for a doubling of the research funds for mental health. 